More than 50 years ago, construction on what is now I-40 meant the demolition of blocks of neighborhoods. It forced hundreds of people to have to move from their homes and businesses to close in a historically thriving black neighborhood. Mayor Cooper has called it a historic wrong and says he wants to make it right with a project to reconnect neighbors in North Nashville. So he has invited people in that area and business owners to the initial Jefferson Street cap meeting today at noon. It'll be at the Lee Chapel AME Church in North Nashville. Our Amelia Young joins us now with more. And Amelia, what sort of role will the community have in this project? Yeah, Jennifer, well, before that construction that you were just mentioning, uh, North Nashville was home to a huge amount of black businesses, homeowners, and pride. And when that construction happened in the 60s, a lot of them were forced to move out, and it just really hasn't ever been the same since. Now, today's meeting is the first of several events that will be held throughout the Jefferson Street area to engage people and collect ideas. The proposed $120 million cap project would cover I-40 between Jefferson and Scoville streets from DB Todd Boulevard to 14th Avenue North. Dr. LaRotha Williams, an associate professor of African American and public history at Tennessee State University, says this project needs a lot of deliberation and strong community voices contributing before being set in stone. Williams wants city leaders to have a clear understanding of what exactly happened in the 60s where the community input was ignored. He'd like to see a variety of voices involved including marginalized voices and the generation that was around when the interstate was first built. If done wrong, it, it'll be just another chapter in the decimation of this community. Or is it going to be something that the city is committed to directing resources toward? And Williams would like to see community members specific, specifically from that area involved in the construction of that project just to make sure that they are uh, directly helping with the construction of if, if that passes and whenever that comes to be. And he also would like to make sure that there is a plan to make sure it's kept up and is able to thrive uh, once it would be built. Back to you in the studio.